When we had last left Team Watcher, they had set foot into the Drowned Kingdom once more. A strange, mysterious pocket of the White Void that was filled with portals aplenty and where water flowed in impossible directions. It was a land that was previously known as the legendary Ukaizo. Now, with their sights set on reassembling the pieces of the once king of Ukaizo, who had made several terrible missteps for himself and his people, Team Watcher is prepared now to set foot into the sunken crown. This is Pillars of Eternity 2, Deadfire, the Beast of Winter. Welcome back. Yeah. <laughs> Let's head on in there. There we go. Goodness. Got ourselves those levels that we were talking about. Nothing too amazing. We'll go over it here in a bit. I think the one that we got for Yidwin was some sort of like, slow people down, speed yourself up. It's an 80 point, or an 80 focus requirement, so I don't know how often we're going to be shooting it off. Shooting it off? Good God. Oh no. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's take a quick look. Pop this open. And... Good God. Also, it's gotta be said... God, right before... Right as soon as I hit record, I hit my funny bone really badly in, on my right uh, arm. And it was so bad, I, like, lost feeling in my pinky on that hand. I Not completely, but, like, it felt like I'd been sitting on my hand or whatever. Like, it, it had gone numb, but only in my pinky and part of my ring finger. It was, it's not pleasant. I'm in, I'm in a bad way. All right. Anyway, we got also a Soul's Echo, which for the most part isn't that great. It was kind of a debate for me to pick this up or a defensive one like Psychic Black Backlash or something like that. Bear's Fortitude, Snake Reflex, stuff like that. But I thought, eh, we've actually come to sort of spam Silent Scream a few times, right? And that'll probably work quite well with it. Especially if we eventually get the complete self here. Because you get AoE. I'd assume that each hit of the AoE, if it crit, would proc the complete self, right? I'd assume that. Anyway, on Takehu, we got something even less exciting. Good god, what even was it? Yeah, I think it was just Snake's reflexes, right? Because we're pretty well off on Takehu, as far as I, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, yeah. let us head on deeper in here. Do a quick save Got just it. as well. I Enter okay. stealth as well. Let's see. Oh, shit. This place isn't too terribly big. Is this going to be like a mini boss in here or something? No. Surely they save the mini boss to be... Oh, oh. oh, look. The dragon will be the boss, right? I'm not sure. How long is this DLC even? I have no clue. All right, how do we want to handle this? We should probably take out the Wardens of Decay first, so let's wait for one to get nearby. There we go, just like that. Wait, look there. There we are. Okay, make sure Adair is on it. Good. Adair, you break stealth. There we are. Palagina, you run in too. And let's see, Adair, if you could actually knock him, why not? Go for it. Now let's also try and get the watery double out over here. There we are. And Yidwin. How are you on absorbing their power? Yeah. Let's absorb from that Scourge dude. And I will continue sneaking on up here. Actually, I'll self-buff first. Because I can do that without breaking stealth. And then we'll go over after that warden from stealth. There we go. Good. You like that? <laughs> Okay, excellent. Now, let's have some chill fog so we can blind them a bit, if possible. Let's see, let's toss it. Eh, how many can we actually afflict like this? We can get all of them with a shrinking one. One that's shrunk down all the way. All right, let's see, you still have your shielding up. Good. Okay, let's see if we can't knock this thing flat again. Let's do this. Here we are. Firing away again here. Excellent. I'll go over to this side of Palagina. 
And fire off this AoE down a bunch of them. Oh, shit. Nice hit. There we go. Great. And let's see, he's throwing down another one of those, I think. Yeah, we don't need that at the moment. Let's actually have... We could do Wall of Frost or Entropy. Hmm. Tell you what, maybe we get Entropy on this Scourge dude, right? Or on someone here. I'm not, no, no, the cast chance is quite low. Let's just throw down a big AoE, and odds are we'll get a few of them in there. Okay. Good. Oh shit, yo, they are pushing us. Okay. Can we get them? Let's see if Halogena is pelting away at them. Good, it's pulled out some sort of wild-ass looking ball. I don't know what that's about, but it seems bad. Okay, we could do some AoE on them. That seems effective. Should we do some of that? Yeah, I think we I think we do that. Let's try out some of this new stuff on them. Oh, oh sh shit. Okay. I dare stand your ground. There we are. Try and knock this fucking thing. Good Let's lord. This, this thing is such a fucking off. pain in the butt. Okay. Let's see. Now, I think we're going to actually pivot to... ...doing a bit of this crowd control. Look, we can get this Warden of Decay. How much does that cost? us 50. And this is 30. Alright, so... Yeah, let's cast it right here. We might get the Scourge, we might also get the Warden of Decay. Take this. Would be good. Okay, we got one of them. Fair enough. Alright, Halogena, begin shield cracking here. There we are. And let's see. How are you doing, Takehu? How about... Eh, we could throw down this, right here, right in the middle of everything. Maybe we go for that. no difference! There we go, because that won't- that doesn't hurt allies, yeah. It's just enemies, and action <laughs> speed goes down. Really good. Okay, let's swap our weapons here. Fire away at this Warden of Decay, actually. There we are, make sure Yidwin is on this thing as well. Good. Okay. He is not engaged with me, that Scourge. How about Yidwin? Is Yidwin fine? Yeah, Yidwin is good. Let's see, let's have her go over, and Yid, when you pull on out of there before let's that Scourge this. comes out. Crowd control. Good. Okay. Excellent. Now, let us... Nice hit. There we go, yep, firing into that fucking thing. Swap back to this set. And, you know what, let's just do a penetrating shot here. Why not? Keep it simple. Alright, they're coming back out of it. Let's see. Can we do Puppet Master on this one on the right? Let's try that. There we are. And let's see, I'm firing away that. Let's go. And let's finally swap our weapon. Great. And let's actually go after the Scourge here. There we are. And let's have a dare try and knock this one. Or the Soul Collector, I mean, because it's lower. Okay. Yidwin. How is your chance of applying that shit? Eh, not great. Let's just hold off for now. Okay. And does it still have its debuff? No, it does not. Let's refresh that shit. Shrink it even. Is it big enough? Should all take effect. Good. Alright, it took. And let's see, let's apply some blind here as a dare. Let's do this. Can. Excellent stuff. And I'll refresh my charges, why not? Just We've like got plenty. <clears throat> there we are. Good. And actually, I'll swap targets over to this other Scourge here. Sure. So no use. Go over this direction. Yeah, that way when that one comes out. Okay. Oh, I'm like, immobilized? No, there we go. Okay. Good. Fire away at that. And let's see. Its debuff is still active. Excellent. Okay. And Yidwin, do you have a debuff you might want to apply? I guess we could try that. Right? We could try Eye Strike. Why not? And let's see. To Kehu, shrink your shit. Apply it right on top of him. You like that? Nice hit. Excellent. And pull out your watery double. Good. Alright. 
Looking good over here. Supply hobble, why not? Weapon's no good to me. Good, good, good. Shield crack is still active. Excellent. Okay. Let's make sure Adair is back on this thing. That Take way we this. can get his rending smash as well. Yes. Good. There it is. Okay. After him. And we should be fine to no just difference. keep going at him. Let's see, we can apply a blast of frost. There. Oh shit. He's sucking us all up in there. Okay. Let's see, are they blinded? No, they are not. Oh, one of them is. By Yidwin. Better try something else. Trying to apply okay. some of this. Got it. Did not take. I think we'll just have her on auto attack for now. Too right. difficult, I say. There we are. Accidentally almost clicked him over that way. Okay. Good. Yeah, I think we can just get through the rest of this. Need something stronger. Easy. Yes, like that. All right. We'll shrink Bad this. Let's go. And apply it on the scourge. Take that. There we go. Oh, it did not take. Huh. It's weird. All right. Let's fire away. This weapon's no good to me. There we go. Attack we don't often use. There we go. Let's let's check here. This does work for us. We do benefit from Wrath of the Five Sons, don't we? After him. Hmm. Let's see. Next time we attack. Let's see. Wrath of whoever the fuck. Hmm. Armor. No, I don't think we do. I think it is just Palagina who benefits from Wrath of the Five Sons, right? I think it's just her. Let's go. We're Quick, about to see that. Else. She'll get an attack to pop off. Let me double check here. Yeah, I don't think we do. I think it's just Palagina who will get that. Okay. Oh, good. And then did she land a hit? Let's see here. Sworn enemy is what it's called. Oh shit! Look at this mess. <laughs> so ma many different things stacking damage for me. All right. Yeah, weird. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. All right, let us add... We would like to add... A little bit of armor debuff onto you. After him. Better try something are. else. If we could do that, that would be excellent. There we are, nice finally hit. took. Not even close. Okay. And let's see, Yidwin is actually kind of getting fucked up here. Where even is she? She's not engaged. Yeah, let's pull back here. Okay. And we may as well have her spam. Please. Can't make a dent. Keep it stunned. All that stuff. Just right. Right. The various days. There we are. Stunned. Good. Let's just keep them pouring out. She's got plenty built up. This weapon's no good to me. Let's go. Very good. All right. Keep it flowing. She does cast it relatively quickly, huh? There we go. Man, it makes such a weird noise. I never notice the noise mm -hmm. that they make when they die. All right. More bombs. Take all those. As you wish. My eyes are peeled. And let's see over here. These statues depict the stern visages of past Tawana rulers. Okay. I still don't really use consumables, do I? I think, honestly, I probably used more consumables in the first game than this one. Right? I don't know. I mean, I've never been much of a consumable person, use, using person. Magnificent structures worn by time and catastrophe fade into the void beyond. I think most of it is that I worry that I will become reliant and sort of base my expectations for combat around having a consumable. And if that happens, I may be in a situation where I don't have that consumable, right? Hmm. Let's see, who among us has good explosives? I have two explosives. Someone should be holding on to some of these bombs, is what I'm saying. And maybe I'm the right person for that, in this group at least. Alright. Let's see. Shaken, raw damage, healing, enemy crit to hit, yeah, debuff enemies. Okay, I'll hold on to a few here. There we are. Why not? A question, Watcher? 
Let's see. What is up sure this thing. way? Oh. The Drowned Kingdom again. Oh, this must be that other exit point or something, right? What the hell is this thing? An altar? Oh, is this... Oh, yeah, there's, like, two sharks. Oh, the two-headed eel? Is it an eel? It looks almost like a shark's maw right there. Oh. Oh, shit. The soul fragment dissipates in a flash of scattered essence, reforming in the shape of a large Almawa man, bedecked in exquisite robes and golden jewelry. My great hall stands open for all who would pay fealty to their beloved king. Why are you here? Bow, greetings. I come as an agent of Ungati. Lie. A coven of Aeora's greatest archmages sent me here from the future. <laughs> I'm tempted to try to lie to him. It's interesting that this isn't a bluff check. I'm not your subject, and you're not my king. Well, oh, fuck it, let's try and lie to him. Does my name still ring out in those distant halls? Do the people still refer to King Wingaro Owaturi I as the Dragon of Deadfire? The king regards you with one eyebrow raised and a smug smile just forming on his lips. Bluff again. All right, here we go. Your Excellency, I have a few questions. I had hoped you would hear them. I brought you a gift. Enough pleasantries. No, I had some questions. I hoped you would hear them. You have proved yourself more polite than most. I will humor you. For time. <laughs> you have my permission to continue. Who are you? Your kingdom predates Ukaizo. What happened to your kingdom? Who are you? King Wingaro Owaturi I. <laughs> You've heard of me, of course. Haven't you? Perhaps my friend has. Well, Takehu? Oh, look. Dead fire check slash history check. Shrug. Maybe in old stories. Are you any relation to Queen Onikaza II? I've never heard of you or your kingdom. No, I. W as much as I would love the dead fire check, I really want to pull Takehu here. Takehu, have you heard of this person? Of course. Who could forget the ballads of Wise Wingaro or the tales of his war fleet that spanned the horizon? Mm. Takehu's very good. Takehu winks at you slyly. He's making it up as he goes, but it seems to have the desired effect. I have heard it said that even beyond my shores, the people of lesser nations chant three-day epics in my name. The king nods, a sage smile on his lips. Your kingdom predates Ukaizo. My kingdom is Ukaizo. Right. The jewel of the dead fire. No, of Aora, a city so magnificent it draws the jealous eyes of all the world's great civilizations. Really? <sighs> it will make a fine inheritance for my many daughters. Huh. And I'm assuming the inside check here would be about... In some of the memories or whatever we had heard... Him being unhappy that he didn't have a son to take the throne, right? Lucky them. I see. Lucky them. What greater gift can a doting father give... ...than an empire that spans the world? Your kingdom predates Ukaizo again? Now, what happened to your kingdom? Look around you. Is my hall not the picture of power? Do you not drown in luxury? Yes, it appears to be in excellent shape. Raise an eyebrow. Say nothing. Let's raise an eyebrow. Nowhere in the world can match the brilliance of my city. No, my empire. It is the greatest nation in Aora, I say. Huh. Do you understand what happened here? King Wungaru crosses his arms and frowns, the picture of a petulant child. Diplomacy check of only four, an intimidate check of only four just as well. All right. To put it delicately, your highness, your civilization lies in ruins, and your soul is trapped in Rimurgan's realm. It's time for you to own up to your own to your failures and face judgment. Your civilization was destroyed. Your soul is Rimurgan's prisoner, and it's all your fault. 
use betrayal to become the king's lost son. Prince uh, Edenke O. Waturi III. Oh, shit. I kind of want to do that. Fuck it, let's do it. You fish the broken blade from your pack and hold it before you. After a moment's concentration, your face twists itself into the visage of a square-jawed young Hoana man. The king looks at you as if for the first time, his eyes wide as sand dollars. Ada, my boy, you've returned to me. But, but how does this terrible place cage you too? <laughs> Who is his voice actor? When he did that, he sounded so familiar. Who was that? That's a, I, I couldn't... It didn't sound familiar until he did that last line. Why was that so familiar? Huh. All right. Echoing Prince Edenke. Is that how he said it? I forget. I'm sorry. All right. Our kingdom has fallen. I mourn the Waturi legacy, for it has been murdered by outlanders as surely as our people have. What a mess you have made of our kingdom. Does the Waturi legacy mean so little to you? Our kingdom lies in ruins. The Waturi legacy is stained by the blood of our slain subjects. Hmm. I mean, most of these seem to get to the same thing, right? Huh. I mean, this one kind of blames Outlanders. Right? For it has been murdered by Outlanders as surely as our people have. Does the legacy mean so little to you? Hmm. It feels hypocritical, though, to call out the Outlanders when at one point they themselves were Outlanders. Let's go with this. Let's just go with this. Our, our kingdom lies in ruins. The Vituri legacy is stained by the blood of our slain subjects. Oh my god, I'm so sorry if you can hear the love dog. <laughs> She's in the other room. <laughs> Good lord. All right. The Vituri legacy is stained by the blood of our slain subjects. My boy, check your eyes. The Vituri clan reigns the dead fire. Ukaizo's bounds stretch the breadth of the world. We are at the height of our power. All right, and here we have a diplomacy check and an intimidate check. Huh. All of these echoing the prince as well. No, father, the foreign soul shapers have destroyed our kingdom, and your soul is trapped in Rimmergon's realm. You allowed the foreign soul shapers to run, shapers run of our city, and they destroyed it. Own up to your failures and face judgment. You witless fool, open your eyes, or stare silently at him. Hmm. Shit, 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 what should we do? My boy, check your eyes, the Waturi clan reigns the dead fire. Ukaizo's bounds stretch the breadth of the world. We are at the height of our power. Hmm. Let's see. The foreign soul shapers have destroyed our kingdom, and your soul is trapped in Rimmergon's realm. You allowed the foreign soul shapers run of our city. They destroyed it. Own up to your failures and face judgment. Hmm. I kind of like the idea of just staring silently at him like, come on. Right? Let's see. Yeah, these soul shapers have destroyed our kingdom and your soul is trapped in Rimmergon's realm. I like, I do like being direct and mentioning Rimmergon for once, because that may convince him to assist us, right? I'm torn between this diplomacy check and the steer silently. Let's go with the diplomacy check. That is not possible, I say. My empire is the strongest in Aeora. No, the greatest empire history has ever known. My reach extends to the edges of the world. Kith, on distant shores, pay fealty to me. King Wingaro Awaturi the first. Hmm. Echo Prince Sidanke. You know that's not true. The only thing keeping you here is your pride, you stubborn old fool. Say nothing. Oh, I kinda like this. You know that's not true. 
Yeah, let's go with that. My judgment check. is beyond reproach by you, by the gods, by anyone! I will not take the blame for what happened! Do you hear me? I will not! Fuck. Rimurgan could give you a final death, but he lets you remain here because you still have something to learn. It's a kindness. You made treaty with the foreign soul shapers because you wanted the best for your empire, for your empire and your people. They took advantage of you. Your king, though your kingdom fell to trickery, the Huana still thrive in the dead fire. Your legacy survives you. Hmm. Ooh. I feel like we should mention Rimmergond here. Hmm. I feel like we shouldn't appease him, though. I feel like I should keep pressing him on this, rather than saying that his legacy survives him. Yeah, they took advantage of you. You made treaty with the foreign soul shapers because you wanted the best for your empire and your people. They took advantage of you. No, because I feel like that that puts too much shit on the... On him, like, accepting outside outsiders, outlanders in general. Because he'll, he could just flip it around and be like, Well, who are you if not outlanders, right? Rimurgan could give you a final death. But he lets you remain here because you still have something to learn. It's a kindness. Let's go with that. Something to learn. By the grace of the beast himself. Ooh. Huh. Takei who liked that because <laughs> I was being pious and Palagina did not like that because I was being pious. Surprise makes his eyes go wide. When the expression fades, it's replaced by a look of slow dawning comprehension and finally wonder his features blur then run like water off his face what's left behind is the visage of an aged almawa nearing the end of his life ooh look his little picture changed just as well oh fuck his shoulders sag like they've borne the weight of centuries, and his once lively eyes grow dim and distant. A shaky breath wheezes from his chest. When the bearded outlander and his cabal arrived in Ukaiso, they offered glory, strength, growth, and asked so little in return. My council warned me against allying with them. I called them cowards. All that mattered to me was the extent of our reach. Endless expansion. Security for the Wana. A legacy none could match. I say it was my weakness they exploited. Hmm. Let's go back up here. And yeah, tying it back to, like, pitfalls of colonialism. Endless expansion, right? Okay, who who do you think this bearded outlander is? Did Theos X Arcanon have a beard? I can't remember, because we know he was here, present, right? Because we went to that one um, still standing Huana village, or empire even, I'm not sure. But uh, that one Huana tribe, where they explicitly remembered him, right? With all the involvings with Aloth and the Leaden Key? Could be. It very, mel it very well may be him. Right? And that he was ultimately one of the big things that caused the downfall of Ukaizo? Theos? Maybe. Alright, continue. I believed I could stand against the tide of time. The tide that wears down even the hardest stone to sand. And, and my arrogance doomed us all. He heaves out a great, shuddering breath and can't quite meet your eye. Echo the Prince, you could not have known what the Outlanders planned. You only wanted what was best for our people. I forgive you, Father. You must accept responsibility for the horror you brought down on our people. 
I cannot forgive you, father. You must forgive yourself. I kind of like that more, though, right? Because a lot of the pieces of the soul that we've been collecting was that he, he really... It really was, like, such a massive weight that was put on him as well. Of him re realizing that he fucked everything up immensely. Right? Huh. Yeah, you must forgive yourself. When did my son grow wiser than his father? I say, you became a man while my back was turned. Huh. Well... <laughs> I am a different dude. Okay. Echo the prince for all of these, but this one's an inside check. You could not save our kingdom, but you can redeem yourself. Help me fight the dragon. Nerys Cyrilas. <laughs> you can do no more in this life. Let me guide you to the wheel, that you might right these wrongs in your next. You've suffered enough. Go into the white void. Take your final rest and find peace at last. Now we gotta get help, right? Let's get some help. Help me fight the dragon. It is settled. Alright, he sighs. Thank you. He presses a broad hand into your arm and squeezes, his eyes wet with unshed tears. He makes as if to hug you, but stops halfway through the motion. Huh. Man, this is fucked up, because we're totally manipulating the shit out of him. <laughs> By b pretending to be his, his only son. Which is wild to think, because this wouldn't have even have been possible if we had not gone to the Endless Queries first, right? The only reason we're able to do this is because we went there. Before we came here. Shit. Alright. Now let's hug him. You pull the king to you and wrap him in a crushing hug. He stands ramrod stiff, but slowly softens when you don't immediately let go. He returns your hug, squeezing you just once, before he steps back, shaken. Then he nods quickly, satisfied. The king settles back on his throne to wait for your call. His expression turns pensive. Thoughtful. I will find you in the shattered passage. Until then, leave me to my thoughts. Man, that went pretty well thanks to our trickery. <laughs> thanks to our deception. <laughs> sure thing. Alright. Hey, look at these little guys. Huh. Haven't we seen these fellows around somewhere else too? Alright. Oh, yeah. you know what? This does look very familiar to yeah the throne room of that one tribe, right? It looks somewhat familiar, the layout. Not exactly, but mostly... Well, I guess this was blocked up. For them, it was just an entire... There weren't um, these big blocks here. It was just a view of the outer, outside world. All right, Shattered Passage, Drowned Kingdom. We want to go to Drowned Kingdom, right? But first... Oh, look, we actually can't go down here at all. Okay. Huh. Let's check out Drowned Kingdom here. Oh, let's also read this. It's too difficult, I say. The seat of this extravagant throne has been buffed to a bright sheen by a long succession of royal posteriors. Alright. They got the butt imprint. Let's go in through here. Check out where this takes us. Hopefully this takes us to that one section that we were crossing our fingers for, right? I hope. And then maybe we can, maybe by redirecting water here, we'll actually clear out that area? I'm not sure. Let's see what happens. There we go. So now that shit flows upward into there, and we can cross. Okay, but to what end? Because we already magically grabbed that. Maybe it was like a weird bug that we were able to grab it from there, or whatever. That would make sense. Okay. Let's head on back in here and see if anything has changed, I guess. Somehow we need to be able to pull that water back so we can go down there, because there is definitely Woot Loot. Look, yeah. Huh. 
So how in the hell do we do that? Let's see. Because I can't... Yeah, we can't cross down here either. Weird. And this goes back to the Drowned Kingdom. The Shattered Passage. Let's go through here. This should take us back all the way to the beginning, right? Or maybe not. Maybe this takes us to a different section of the hub area, right? And maybe from there we can access another unit or whatever to... I don't know. Somehow move the water out of there? I'm not sure. Do you bet we can't just redirect all of the water to go into the void, right? <laughs> just into, randomly into the abyss? Because there's no use for it to just be collecting here, right? Alright. Yeah, we are back out here. Hmm. No good. Not what we want. Let's head on back in, because I would like to access that shit. I'm not sure how, but I would really like to. Okay. So down here is our fun-ass place, right? Okay, so can we somehow get on through there? You know what? Maybe... Maybe this? You remember how this, we couldn't tell where shit was flowing from this here? What if this is what controls it, right? And we need to have it flow down into this section. Maybe that's exactly it. Why not? All right, let's control this. What does this one do? Right, the one right next to us. Too bad we have to watch through this every time. All right. Okay. Something I can do? Uh -huh. Over here. And then... We need to push this so it flows... ...back down so this is empty. So no matter what we do now... ...this has to stay that way. Okay. I can only assume that this is what it controls. Right? Okay, so now we have access to down here... And then, oh shit. How would we get over to this thing, though? Let's see. We could control this, and then we would be here, and then we could go down. Okay, yeah. So now that that's fixed, let's push this again, Leave it to and then me. we'll go down. There we are. So that water is up there, but we don't care about that. Because we don't need access to anything up there, right? Alright. And then, go through this. Which will whoosh us down this way. Part of me is worried that it won't take that into account, though, because it's through... It feels like through a proper load screen, right? Okay. Also too bad we can't just jump into the water ourselves. Alright. Then, we'll cross over into this. Good. Oh no, this takes us all the way up here. Oh, Shazbot. Okay. Well, fuck. Hmm. So we need to push this then. Suck it back up in there temporarily. Right? And then we need to go back down. There we go. Good. And then we'll sneak on inside of this. Okay. And now we're over here now. Alright. So if we go through this one... Alright, so we need to clear a path. Right? How the fuck do we get over there, though? How do we get down here? Hmm. Good lord, the game hitched a bit there. Let's see. So if this one is linked... this These two are linked, right? Here, let's consult this. These two are linked. These two are linked. These two are linked. 
All right. So what we need... Hmm. How do we access fucking anything, though, if... Huh. Is this really what we're meant to... Maybe this is just bullshit, I'm imagining this. Yeah, so this goes up here. But that doesn't do us any good, does it? Let's see, how would we get down to the lower level? We would either have to get to it from... Yeah, this is the only point where we can get access to the lower level, is from here. By doing this, right? And the only way we can get to this void gate... ...is through... ...walking on this, right? I have no fucking idea, man. Yeah, where- how the fuck else do we do it? Huh. I have no clue. Because if we're to assume that this pool of water... Huh. Because we need to pour it out down here. Because this is... We're assuming that this one leads into... The castle or whatever, right? So we need it down here, which blocks this shit off. Shit. Let's go on down here. Maybe this isn't how we're meant to solve this puzzle at all. So what happens if I activate this? Where, what does this one do? Oh, over here. Which floods that little area. Okay. Alright. Weird. Huh. I mean, did that... Fuck, I don't know. It looks like it's sucking from out of there. Maybe that's it. That we need to have it suck up in there. Or suck up out of that portal. Shit, dude, I have no clue. Because <laughs> if this is it, that can't be, right? That's impossible. Because we can't possibly cross here if this... We can't go down to this area if this is full of water, right? There's no other way. Yeah. Okay. Let's try and go back in. Maybe we'll see something. Because it looks like the waterfall is now sucking it out of the portal. So maybe... No. What the fuck? Can I just access... Oh. Is that really it? I can't walk over here? <laughs> maybe that's really fucking it. I'm just supposed to do some, like, fucking hack shit. Oh, look. It totally looks like there's some shit going on over there. How the fuck do I do that? Huh. Are we, like, going to get something else that'll let us do this? Or what? Hmm. Maybe there actually isn't anything over here and this is like a fake-out? That looks like a massive treasure chest, though. What the fuck? Is this actually something? Here, let's go back out. Maybe it is this other switch out here that's somehow affecting it? Shit, dude, I have no idea. The problem is, I'm not even sure if this is a puzzle. <laughs> Your victory oh. is assured, for you have the Dragon of Deadfire at, at your side. Uh, okay. I say, we should not linger here. Okay. Now look, how do I get over to that shit? Hmm. Let's push this, and I'll... Yeah, what the fuck? But that doesn't accomplish jack shit, does it? No. Because we can't... We can't do anything with... Oh, shit. Oh, Rin Hader, of course. You have resurfaced. Rin Hader's cold attention roams you. And with a crown, no less. Impressive. She smirks at the king. Let's hope his strength matches his opinion of it. He doomed his people. Now, he's going to make up for it. 
doubtlessly the aid of a king will be invaluable in bringing the dragon low. <laughs> I, I don't know if this is sarcastic or not. <laughs> All right. Let's see. He doomed his people. Now he's going to make up for it. I prayed so. The worm has persisted for far too long. She bows her head. Yeah, look. This gets us nowhere. Oh, look. Kawaru's spirit. Oh, hey. You weren't here before. Oh, you were working on this, right? Save your words for Aranga. I'm nothing but a hammer to be swung. Akira? The soul of the carpenter pauses her labor to frown at you. Use the... Use betrayal to appear as the king or appear as Haranga. Okay. Let's see. What should I say? We could be one or the other. Let's be Haranga. Because what if she hates the king, right? Then I will open the way. Sharpen your spear and be ready to lead the charge, mighty one. Okay. She nods to you, resolute in her purpose. Oh, whoops, sorry, I totally forgot to even read this. Our enemies have landed war canoes on the beach. I must cross to rally the other warriors. When my labors are done, where then should I go? No one from the tribe visits to give work any longer. Come with me. The others will make room for you. Seek oblivion, if that is what you, you if that is your desire. Hey, come with me. To follow in your shadow? This is my highest honor. Placing a fist over her heart, she falls in line with the other spirits thronging you. All right, good. So now where does this put us? So what's in here? Eh, some goodies, void shard. This cold black sphere is formed of essence broken down and condensed within the white void. Touching it is, touching it with bare skin is ill-advised. Licking it more so. Alright. And... Over here, yeah, this is the other one that we now have access to thanks to our new ability. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Maybe this is another one that requires a different set of people? I don't think so, because look, it doesn't say anything. Oh, this just whooshes us all the way down here. Oh. Okay. And this... Yeah, okay, it just whooshes us across the entire area. Okay, let's go back through. We may as well use the beam of light. So both of these needed a tool, sure. or a trinket that we had picked up. Alright, sundial. There we go. And we should appear... Oh no. Oh, what have we done? Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit! Uh oh, I'm fucked. Dafila. Okay. And let's see here. Let's go after this one, I guess, before I fucking die. Let's see. Can you like, you like stun that? them before they fucking no, kill me? I do that. There we are. And let's finish this one as well. There we are. Palgina, get it. And let's see, Takehu, throw down some of this. They're right on him. Good. Let's go after this one now. Let's do this. There we go. Oh shit, man, there are a lot popping out here, huh? Okay, get him. Adair, you run back here. All right. And let's see, Palagina, you are on him. Damn, missed. Good. Are there gonna be more coming out after this as well? Let's swap our weapons. And let's just do a basic attack. Well, no, let's do a penetrating shot. Finish it off. If we can. There we are. Take this. It makes no difference. Okay. Good. And let's make sure we're all on this weaker one. Let's go. Good, good, good. Okay, fire away there. Nice hit. Great. All right. No problem. Cool. You have my attention. on you. 
All right, just some basic At shit. your service. Let's do a quick save here. Plum fell and saw. How you? Did you get turned around in the blizzard as well? I knew I shouldn't have left the path. The spirit raises a hand to get your attention. She edges closer at an awkward, shambling gait. I don't know how long it's been since I lost my way. Heeman must have worried himself sick by now. Where do you think you are? A sound like clattering teeth echoes from her soul, but she doesn't respond as if she hears or understands you. No one there? Damn this cold for playing tricks on me again. Just another of the beast's illusions. Ymir, where are you? She searches her surroundings, hugging an object tightly to her chest. Uh, it looks like a battle mace. Huh. Mind if I take a look at that mace? Ooh, we could either use betrayal or just pull it from her. She hugs the weapon like it's the edge of a precipice. The willpower she expends clutching it might be the only thing holding her together. Ooh, do I want to just pry it off of her or trick her? Let's trick her. It's me, darling. It's Heimer. I... I can hear you. I can hear your call. Heimer, I'm Heimer. frozen to the bone. She shambles a step closer, her soul brightening with hope, glowing with the first signs of warmth. All right. Come with me, dear. No, no more getting lost. Take her hand. Point her toward oblivion. That way. See how close you were? I'll be right behind you. Attack. I can't allow this to continue. Let's take her hand. No more getting lost. Of course, my love. From now on, I go nowhere without your hand and the warm cattle, yeah? Beaming with joy, see, she steps closer. Rather than fall in line with the other souls trailing behind you, she boldly takes a place at your side and knits her fingers with yours. The mace she was clutching clangs to the ground and rolls to a stop. Frostfall. Let's see. Forged in ice, blessed by the void. Though the head of this mace is not chiseled from a single solid chunk of enchanted ice, one could be forgiven for thinking it so. Instead, the frosted over steel contains a small, but terribly potent shard of essence, imparting upon the wielder a cold, aching hunger that can never be sated. Huh. Alright. Let's take a look at it closely. See the enchants. So weapon attacks deal best of crush and freeze, which is okay. Right? I mean, no, that's pretty good, right? What am I saying? It's better than okay. Chaos Strike, once per rest. 20%. Well, what, what does this do? <laughs> I just saw once per rest, and I was like, eh, fuck that. The wielder channels Rimurgan's energy into a single attack, applying a random affliction to themselves and the target. Yeah, once per rest. Fuck that. <laughs> Dispersed Suffering. 20% of hostile effects on nearby enemies oh 20% duration okay whenever you personally sc score a kill hmm encroaching frost crits have a 10% chance to freeze the enemy for 4 seconds okay shattering head 30% chance on scoring crit to deal freeze slash pierce damage to enemies around the target that's pretty good this would be good for like a dual wield barbarian then right or just, I guess, a single one-handed. Just a barbarian, right? Anything that deals crits like this seems like it would be pretty useful. Okay. Sure. At your so it so is where no does problem. the other unit go to? The other portal up there. I would assumed that that light would take us over to the other area. Yeah, where did this go? Oh, it must rebuild the bridge there. Oh, I see. Okay. Huh. It looks almost like we would be able to activate some sort of water unit here as well and make it flow elsewhere. I guess it's only really flowing one way here. 
Okay. Let's use the sundial. Turn this back. We'll probably get ads again. There we are. We get access to that chest. Oh! It puts back one of these, like, clamshell windows. Okay. There we go. Sure. Be yours All to right. command. Next time, a challenge. Good. Going over here. Still kind of expecting ads to pop out. But maybe not. Yeah. All right. Another void shard. How many of these do we have? Let's see. We've got three of them. Weird. You have my attention. They are quest items. Okay. Cool. Well, we've assembled everyone here. I suppose when next we come back, we'll have leveled up Palagina and be ready to head on down here? I'm not sure. Let's see. Actually, let's speak with Rin Hader first. Greetings again, walker between worlds. Was there something else you wish to ask? No, I guess that's it. All right. Yeah, we'll have to swap out to Kehu for Vatnir now. Right? Because Vatnir is recommended. Yeah, Vatnir and Yidwin. Okay. We'll do that. And you know what? Maybe I'll look up the mystery to do with this here. Right? And see if that was actually a puzzle or have not. my attention. Because I have no clue. Yeah, I'll do that. And also, of course, we'll level up Palagina. Okay, cool. Well, if you'd like to stick around, we will do a little bit of reading, I guess. Let's see here. How about we read... Let's see. We can read down here to... Sea Troll, right? Aeotans. And we already read about ogres a while back. Yeah. Rathun. I think we did read about them, but we may as well get some more out of it, right? Yeah. Okay. Aeotans. Feature in the most grotesque of folk tales. Once merely the most aggressive and unstable of ogres, Eotans have since developed into massive monstrosities that are both larger and far less intelligent than their cousins. Eotans have two heads, one notably smaller than the other, and when the larger of these is incapacitated, the smaller retains just enough brute cunning to keep an Eotan fighting until it I until either it or its prey is dead. It's common to encounter their kind with rotting skulls dangling from their neck. An Aeotan's unpredictable temper and total inability. I wonder why they do that around their neck. Like, do they want to add more heads or something? An Aeotan's unpredictable temper and total inability to conform to ogre society brand it an outcast. Ogre males or females who produce Aeotan offspring are forbidden from breeding again, and their unfortunate progeny are either killed on the spot or left to the mercy of the wilderness. Wow! The latter is undoubtedly what has led to mature Aeotans being found in rural areas, much to the detriment of easily preyed upon livestock. Holy shit, that's horrific! Man, what a fucked up situation. Oh, all right, Rathun, who we had just recently encountered, right? An isolated and extremely hostile race. Not, not much is known of the Rathun, who guard a chain of islands named Magran's Teeth. These fire giants are fiercely devoted to the goddess of war. And some believe it was Magran herself. Yeah, we read all this. We may as well finish it. Some believe it was Magran herself who formed them from Aeora's soil and her own flames. Self-proclaimed champions of the goddess, they will fight to the death rather than submit to any kith. If you ever spy one of their longboats on the open sea, about face and sail full tilt away. The Rathun prefer to take a ship's crew alive so that they may be sacrificed to the ancient in the volcano. Oh, I don't remember that. Who the hell do you think that is? Huh. Capitalized A as well. Alright. Well, when next we come back, like I said, we'll have Takehu swapped out for Vatnir. Palagina will be leveled, and we'll be ready to head on down, and I assume... Well, we probably won't have the final confrontation just yet. We'll probably have to go through a little bit of a dungeon crawl, and then 
take on the dragon, right? Maybe we'll get more insight on what the fuck is going on with this place, right? This is very strange. I wonder if there'll be something that ties all of this together in some way. I don't know. Eh. Until next time, please take care of each other.